Oh, man, it's Sunday. Beautiful, beautiful Sunday today. No questions asked. It's been a really fun week. Man, we've been all over the place. Uh, my garage is a mess, running and gunning from football and, and work and all-terrain social night, pro staff meeting, get together, first ever all-terrain pro team cup on Lake Waconia. Fished on Minnetonka, fished in Wisconsin. I tell you what, uh, one thing I've always really enjoyed about this time of year is, uh, well, many things. I'm in a hoodie. I love wearing hoodies and shorts. That is probably my favorite attire in terms of comfort, pair of shorts and a hoodie. I feel like that is probably right in my wheelhouse, which is what we're experiencing right now. And don't get me wrong, we've had some mornings this week where I'm wearing my storm skin, I'm wearing my soft shell. Uh, the blackfish soft shell stuff got a workout this week. We woke up in the upper 30s a couple times. Uh, many days in the low 40s. So true Minnesota weather, mid-September, showing its colors. Speaking of colors, I'm looking outside at some of the trees. And if you're on the water right now, you'll see that the leaves are starting to change. It's a beautiful time of year to be on the water. We're seeing some of those subtle oranges and reds start to appear. Over the next couple weeks, it's really going to show its color. Uh, great time of year to get in the water and just enjoy it. Uh, okay, all the uh, sappiness done. We're done with the sappiness talk. Get into the fishing side of things. Water temps are dropping into the 60s. We're not seeing much for 70 degree water temp anymore. In fact, I haven't seen 70 degrees in the last several days. Water temps have started in the low 60s in the morning, 62, 63, and it creeps up to 67, maybe 68 by the time we're done. I think our days of 70 degrees surface temp is over. My kids uh, this weekend didn't even go swimming. We were busy in their defense, but I think they looked at it and said, eh, just a little too cold to be swimming. So I think, unfortunately, those days are behind us. Uh, spent some time, like I said, on Waconia. Uh, super windy. Didn't see anybody out there enjoying water sports. No one jet skiing, no one tubing, no one skiing. Spent a uh, better part of the day Friday on uh, Minnetonka. Again, no one out there. Uh, we did see, Mike and I saw one guy wakeboarding in a wetsuit we thought he was crazy because most of the trip from seven to one on friday from seven to probably eleven thirty, it rained on us we got rain it was in the 60s it definitely wasn't warm uh, we weren't frozen but it definitely wasn't warm but i'm going to show you how we caught our fish that day because it kept us warm because the fish were chowing they're biting pretty well so we're seeing that time of year where you know the morning could be chilly as the day progresses, I think the bite picks up. So we're kind of looking at that similar conversation we had back in April and May, where if you can pick your time of day to fish, go ahead and sleep in. Sleep in till six, seven, eight o'clock, then head to the water. You don't need to be out there at daybreak like we've had seen in the last few months. So we had a great bite from 10 to one. It was biting, uh, like I said, at that point, just as well as any other time. So it's not like you have to be out there prime time. So how do we catch our fish? Uh, we caught them a ton of different ways. I'm going to show you the ways I prefer to catch them right now. We talked about moving baits, definitely the way we did it. Swim jigs, the ultra-terrain swim jig caught a lot of fish. Chatterbait caught a pile of fish. This is probably one of my go-tos the last several days was a chatterbait. We started catching fish on spinner baits. Spinner baits are starting to work. A lot of fish are moving into that four to eight foot range. We're not really catching a pile of fish with moving baits up against the bank yet. And you'll know why that's the case when you see the weeds are still up. We're a week or so away from starting to lay down. You'll see some change in the last week, but the weeds are still pretty up in that shallower stuff. So we're moving baits in like four, five, six, seven feet of water. The advantage and disadvantage of that is one, I'm quick, I'm efficient, I'm fast. The disadvantage is the pike have moved in. So I did lose like five chatter baits on Friday. Not going to do the math on what that cost, but it comes with the territory. So that is the one disadvantage. The other way we're catching a pile of fish right now is flipping, hitching jigs. And I'm fishing heavier baits. I'm fishing, you know, the larger half ounce rattling AT. I'm fishing a half ounce, three quarter ounce grass master. I'm flipping, I'm pitching, I'm covering water. That's where I can be effective in some of that stuff that I might not throw a moving bait through. I'm flipping main lake reefs, I'm flipping expansive milfoil flats, I'm looking for hard bottom points, inside turns, dock lines. I can pick and choose my pitch with this and be effective. I can throw these baits, as you know, virtually weedless, 
If I'm fishing 50 or even 65 pound braided line, I might have a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and I'm covering water and I'm working and I'm pitching and I'm dancing. This has been a very effective way to catch fish. This is how we caught all of our fish on Waconi on Thursday was flipping and pitching. Very effective, anything from two, three feet of water out to 10 feet of water and just covering stuff, looking at my electronics, throwing into the gnarliest piece of jungle, making sure I make contact with the bottom. That's why I'm fishing a little heavier jig. I'm not fishing the finesse stuff. I'm fishing beefy, aggressive, half ounce, three quarter ounce type stuff, rattling AT, grass master, and away we go. Um, really easy way to catch fish right now. Super fun and effective. We did catch some other fish on smaller swim baits. We caught a bunch of fish on a smallie smasher and a swim bait. This happens to be just a three inch Largo shad. Uh, and we caught saw walleyes on this, uh, bass, very effective bait. Great, great bait to fish this time of year. I'm using a seven foot action medium or seven foot uh, medium powered spinning rod. Fairly quick action. I got 15 pound braid main line. I got an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And away we go. I'm fishing just a cute little profile. Looks exactly like a lot of the minnows that these fish are feeding on, whether they're perch, whether they're shiners, whether they're sucker minnows, whether they're whatever. It's just the right profile to get bit. And this is a cast, slow retrieve type presentation. I'm waiting for any kind of subtle bite, kind of maybe pop it through some of the grass if I have to. But this is a very effective bait, fishing anywhere from shallow cover to 20 feet of water. So this has been catching a lot of walleyes and you've seen us talk about this in the past and it continues to get bit on the walleye side of things so a lot of ways to catch your fish right now you can catch them on crankbaits uh we had a bunch of guys catch them on wacky rigs you can catch them on texas rigs the frog bites halfway decent seems to be like things are just getting bit right now so my anticipation this week this next week i plan to continue to lean on moving baits chatter baits swim jigs um, spinner baits going to continue to try to focus on that pattern see if I can continue to get those fish to move and bite on impulse I'm going to have my jigs tied up I'm going to slow down on stuff that looks promising I want to fine-tune comb it type of stuff I'm going to probably have the new Hail Mary Ned rig on I caught a handful of fish on that the last few days so I'm going to grab the spinning rod if I need to and focus pay attention to my forward facing sonar look for schools of fish especially if they're stalling out and I will just come back through with something a little different than impulse bait, jig, maybe a Ned rig, maybe a jig worm. So I'm throwing a lot at you. It's just that time of year where honestly, get out there and go fishing, put the comfortable clothes on, clothes on, clothes on enjoy it. Bring the camera, get some pictures. Uh, you're probably not gonna sweat yourself off the lake. You're probably not gonna deal with as much pressure and other people, and you can get out there and have some fun. So good luck as we move into mid-September. The next time we come at you, we're going to be winding down the month of September already. Hard to believe. Get out there, have some fun, catch some fish.